Okay. Sure. Right here. So, that way. so uh, you're at a class at Cal State Long Beach? Mm -hmm. Which yeah. class? Discussion communication. Okay. Yeah. All right. I didn't know what teacher. We, we do a lot of stuff with a lot of different teachers over there, so I'm always curious. Uh, uh, that's Sue L. Casey Sue Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know her? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, oh. <laughs> Dr. Goodwin Lowe, if you've ever taken her classes, used to be on her board. But there's, we do so many things with so many people. Oh, okay. It's, it's always cool. interesting to see who refers what. Oh. Yeah. So it's always important to me to ask that. But we are in our 19th year today. Wow. Uh, this is our 19th anniversary. We've been doing this for that long. So, wow. Okay. So, <laughs> roll camera. You rolling? Yeah, we're good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, how long have you been a part of this? Since inception, I'm one of the co-founders. So 19 years 19, as of today. As of today. Wow. We actually started a little bit before that. My wife, when she was alive, uh, we used to come down here to the beach and just pick up trash. And uh, people said, you got any extra bags? We'll help. So we started bringing bags and people started helping. And with a, my wife, without my approval, said, we're going to do this once a month. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I am, she passed away, I'm still carrying on the legacy. Yeah. So you actually started this thing? I did. Okay. And you're the president basically from day one? Uh, since day one. Yeah, I keep trying to get somebody to take over, but <laughs> I'm still here. You know? So how did you get the thing rolling? You know, it was just you uh, first, I guess. And then how did you get people just to we, get started we, and how big it is now? We, we uh, just, you know, came down once a month and, and had people started hanging out and helping us. Okay. Uh, my wife was one of the first people to get onto the internet long before it really became, I mean, we still had dial-up. You remember that? You oh, don't, yeah. you don't know what dial-up. Oh, I had it. <laughs> you actually just switched. But, but she started building an email list long before we had, you know, constant contact and all that. And we literally would send out emails to people saying, hey, we're doing a cleanup this month. Please come and join us. And she built that email list up to like 20,000 people. I mean, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And we finally switched over to constant contact because it's really hard. You could only send out 100 invitations at a time. So it was a massive amount of work, but it just yeah. became bigger and bigger over time. And uh, I never forget, it was probably 10 years ago, uh, we had a big group that still comes to this day show up and they brought like a hundred people and at that time and if we got a hundred people that was a really big thing mm -hmm. uh, and we had like 400 people show up and one of the groups was here and we had just the two of us it was just my wife and i and we had to, all right we need your help and now we've got you know a yeah. thousand people on our yeah. board and this thing runs like clockwork i mean last month we had a thousand people and three locations for coastal cleanup day wow. so it just grows you know yeah. and we've kind of grown into it so what is your main purpose for this obviously it's picking up trash but like is there a yep there incentive, is a reason you know a bigger thing the bigger thing is certainly you know removing trash is critical i mean nobody wants trash on the beach in the ocean anywhere uh, but when you come out here and you're participating and i've done this long enough to see that it changes people you know, like they get disgusted kind of like agitated and develop a distaste and almost a frustration of people that leave trash and what we hope happens is you change your own styles mm -hmm. at home you start recycling maybe it's not perfect but it's an improvement over what you had before we want to change people's habits and we've realized that over the years of doing this, it's not the adults, people my age and older, that are going to change their habits. It's the kids and grandkids that will change the adults my age and will change businesses. And that's the more important thing is change habits. Change habits of corporations, change habits of individuals, so that we don't create more trash, i.e. getting restaurants to stop using styrofoam, stop using straws, stop using plastics. Uh, Long Beach, just this week, yeah. Ban the use of styrofoams and plastics. Fundamentally big. We need that everywhere. If you go swimming in the ocean or you go out to the Pacific Gar in the middle of the ocean, it's an island of yeah. plastic that we have just dumped for a number of years. It is going to take years to change those habits. So that's the bigger picture is we want to change people's habits. More than 
filling that dumpster. Yeah. So what do you think the main reason is that people leave trash here? Is it just not caring or is it not knowing what the effects are? Just based off of your experience. It's a little of both. Uh, you know, there's some people that you, you're just never going to change, yeah. you know, unfortunately. Uh, and that's just the way of the world. But, well, but a big part of it is education. People, there's 52 cities that flow into the San Gabriel River. And whether it's intentional or unintentional, all the trash from the river floats to here, you know. If you play golf at El Dorado Park and you hit a waiver golf ball, it's not intentional. It's just a bad golfer. You know, yeah. <laughs> but that golf ball is going to wind up here. You know, uh, if you're a homeless person and you leave all the trash and move on to another side, and it's mental illness, it's drug abuse, it's alcohol. There's a plethora of reasons that it happens. But we as stewards of the environment, we all have to do our part. You know? But uh, it's, some of it's intentional, some of it's unintentional. But it's all important that we we educate and change and do what we can to change what winds up. Okay. So what is the main trash that you find here? Maybe the three big styrofoam, 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 plastic bottles, and styrofoam, styrofoam, styrofoam. Okay. <laughs> and it is the biggest thing, and because styrofoam doesn't biodegrade ever. It just gets into smaller and smaller pieces. The fish swallow it, they think they're full, they die because of it. It just never ever goes away. Straws. Sorry to interrupt, where yeah. are the van certificates? Um, in the, the little box over there. Yeah, yeah. Un yeah. underneath, I believe. Sorry. Um, lost my train of thought. It breaks down into small beads, uh, straws, plastic bags, all of that is important stuff you know it's it's the little stuff just as much as it is the big stuff uh, if you look long enough if you go out here in the sand you'll find little plastic beads mm -hmm. and we call them nurdles and that's the plastic extract that everything plastic is made out of cover on this phone your phone that camera mm -hmm. everything plastic and we call them nurdles and they're red and they're blue they're green yellow or every color but if you look long enough you can pick up hundreds of them and everything plastic comes over and shipped in containers and they put it out on the highway it bounces out birds pick it up it blows in the wind but even that is this contaminating as a great big tire or a big piece of trash so it's just important to pick up the small stuff it is the great big stuff okay and what is the strangest thing you have ever found out there? There's a lot of strange stuff, but my, and this one goes way back, uh, I found a half of a bowling ball. Well, not a whole bowling ball, but half of the bowling ball. But I have found so many strange things. That I, nothing shocks me anymore. TVs, computers, little pedal carts, you know, fire engines, playhouses. Uh, wow. Basketballs, tons of balls, uh, chairs, couches, you name it, I've found it. Grocery carts used to be the big thing. We have pulled hundreds and hundreds of grocery carts, which comes from the homeless. Uh, a lot of businesses now have locked the grocery carts. You can't get it out of the store. Uh, but it's a big thing up and down the riverbed. They throw what they need and they you know, move from site to site using a grocery cart. But we've, that's gone down to a pretty minimal level, but it used to be a big item out here. All right. That's it, and it was a pleasure working for you today. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope you all come out again. I hope this has been more than just a, a requirement for school yeah. to you. It, yeah. It's passionate to me. Uh, my goal is always to put myself out of business. Mm -hmm. I'm not optimistic it'll ever happen in my lifetime, but if we continue to educate, then I think we'll we've got a chance to get to that goal. Thanks again, guys. Yeah. Cool. All Thank right. you. Hope you